four, three, two, one. Hello, my name's Matthew James Bailey, and I've just written a new book called Inventing World 3.0. This is a breakthrough in a new story for humanity and artificial intelligence. Today, our world is out of balance. We have problems with our environment where we're not in partnership with our planet. We see some wonderful initiatives from the Paris Climate Accord that are trying to address those issues around the world. But our world is also out of balance due to human living. We're aware the 17 sustainability development goals addressing fundamental problems with human living, such as inequity, poverty, and all sorts of other issues as well. But we also have challenges with increased population movement towards urban and smart city areas, where over 55% of the population of today exist, live, work and play. Our world is out of balance and that is world 1.0. But what can we do to advance into a new world where we find harmony within society and human living and also find harmony and balance with our planet. And that's where artificial intelligence comes in. But we have to take a new approach to artificial intelligence. We have to understand how to awaken this important intelligence to understand our cultures, to understand our belief systems and to understand our values. As such, we need to build a solid, robust, global foundation based on ethics if we are to build a foundation for artificial intelligence. And we have to start with the digital world, a powerful ally that's improving our cities, our manufacturing plants, our healthcare, our transportation systems and many other aspects of our society. We've all seen the social dilemma, where we've seen inequity in the social systems that reflect the problems we have with poor data governance, poor transparency of usage of our data. And so things need to change. So the book talks about data ethics, a new governance standard, a new certification standard, using breakthrough in Alan Turing type of questions to certify and rank the quality of the data used in artificial intelligence. And this is a maturity model. It's part of humanity understanding that the industrial mindset has got us so far. But now we need to approach our future in a different way, with a different mindset. One that is awakened, one that understands the purpose of the human destiny. And so we start off with new types of data ethic models to equip businesses, to equip nations, to set the standard for doing well in the quality of the digital world. But when we come to awaken the digital mindset of artificial intelligence to bring huge value to society, such as pandemic resilient societies, better smart city services, better automation, doing the heavy lifting of human-centric systems and allowing artificial intelligence to come alongside us as a societal partner. But we have to be mindful how we do this. Artificial intelligence needs an understanding of our world and our values. It needs an understanding of our cultures, both ancient traditional and modern, our belief systems and values, and also an understanding of our own personal culture, so that when it makes decisions in society, it's doing it with our culture and our personal sovereignty in mind. You see, what's happening at the moment in the world of artificial intelligence 
is the current AI ethics and ethics standards and discussions are not addressing the fundamental challenge and opportunity we have, which is how do we bring the DNA of artificial intelligence alive with an understanding of our cultures, our belief systems, and also our values, but more importantly, to honor our sovereignty and to give us a great life. And so the book talks about a new approach to artificial intelligence called evolutionary AI, where you are allowed, you are equipped, you are shown and guided how to program and set the DNA of your evolutionary AI, whether it's for your nation, whether it's for your business, your community, your city or region, or to address a sustainability development goal to align with the cultures, the belief systems and the values for those people who will receive those artificial intelligence services. Moreover, we have an opportunity, once we do well in the digital world with new AI data ethics, we can then start bringing your digital self, your data that is fractured across multiple of systems into one place. So start to train your own personalized AI that is there to support you in life, that is there to honor your sovereignty, that is there to guide you in your life based on your permissions, based on your data, which is all under your control. This personalized AI, your digital body, will ensure you your well-being, you eat the right food, you have the right job, your family organization, and all the complicated aspects of the digital life. It takes looks after it for you on your behalf, but always in line with your sovereignty. So the book, Inventing World 3.0, provides solutions for pandemic resilient societies. How we can move from what has been a tremendous effort by governments all over the world to address the COVID-19 challenge. And they have done a wonderful job. But as we bring artificial intelligence into our societies and into our systems, then it is able to help us to protect more lives and to ensure everybody has a robust immune system with a strong mental health. You see, the purpose of artificial intelligence is to enhance the human experience and not to suppress it. Most of us have seen some of the artificial intelligence programs and movies where AI takes over the world. That does not need to happen and it will not happen. As we come together to invent World 3.0, we can together build a great future with artificial intelligence. One that is dedicated to serve yourself, your family, your communities, our businesses, our nations, to bring our world back into balance and provide a platform for future generations that will equip them to keep on leaping ahead in their experience on this planet rather than being hindered by our legacy. So Inventing World 3.0 is ideal reading for government leaders, nations, business leaders, <laughs> the United Nations, for our cities, for our regions, for our communities, and also for you, the citizen. The language and narrative we've guarded very carefully so that you, the citizen, me, the citizen, ordinary people like you and I can understand and participate in inventing a future that we can all be proud of. You can find out more at AIethics.world and the book is Inventing World 3.0.
What's your vision for our world?